do you want to do you want to know a guitar lesson that can be applied to spiritual life as well? What do you desire, guitarist? Do you desire to be a master of a machine? This is a machine, an instrument tool. You can utilize it like a machine would in a very non-human way by merely reciting and rehashing what has already been done with it millions of times and not sound anything like you, whoever you are. My eyes aren't looking so good. I ate too much turkey, drank a little wine. Uh, not drink, but I did. Anyway, uh, the first thing you gotta do is find yourself. Don't you be no fool, that's what Jimi Hendrix said. Um, find your own melody sense. Like, what intervals please your ears? What intervals please you? What times please you? Unless you want to be a machine. If you want to be a machine, you know, and... Because I don't recommend you become like me. It's not like I'm some special guy. I'm full of pain. I cannot play one single song for you right now. I mean, I could. But then people look at my music like it's something special, and I don't understand why. So I'm trying to understand why people look at my music like it's something special. And I'm figuring it's because there's poor teachers. I had a good teacher once. He taught me not to, because I, I, when I played, like I would I'd go like this, and I would always curl my pinky out, up underneath here. You know, like this. Uh, I was like, even with my power chords, when I was like first learning, I would be like pinky down here. See how my pinky's hidden? The hidden pinky? You don't want that. So what I learned how to do is then play my octaves with my pinkies. And, uh... Don't limit yourself on, you know, scales. Like, I think that that's one of the biggest detriments to guitar playing. When I hear guitar players like Yngwie Malmsteen and all of them, they all sound the same. And the people like Carlos Santana stuck out to me. Stevie Ray Vaughan, but he was just playing a pentatonic scale almost like 95% of the time. But he had his own feel. He had his own style. You know? Came from his heart. That's like religion. It's fake if it comes from up here. If it comes from in your heart, then it's real. Like John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that who would ever believe in him shall always live and never perish but have everlasting life. But then if you read the rest, oh, it was just 3.16. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a sign of Jesus Christ right there. But uh, then if you read the rest of John, it will say other things as well about like what you do when you believe in him. So what is it, ultim it ultimately comes down, what do you want? Do you want to be able to recite and rehearse or do? Because I don't think what I do is special at all, but then when I go out to open mic nights and play, people are like, oh, whoa, whoa, he stole, he stole the show. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. The only reason why it sounds good is because it's coming from my heart. Most of the time. Unless I'm on drugs, you know? That's why I recommend, well, drugs are, well, you can still play from your heart on drugs. You just don't know what you're doing. Like, for example, I love six. I found out I love to play things and everything in six. Like one, two, three. Like guitar's out of tune, I don't care. One, two, three. Life is out of tune. Do you care? I care about that more than I do my guitars. Everything's six, you know, da, da, da. just repeating it. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So that's why if you learn what you like, if you learn who you are, then you can make uh, 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 iterations, you can make alterations, you know. Uh. But if you don't know who you are, you're just gonna constantly be frustrated. 
It's like, I'm jealous of certain people that got more than me and they can play other things better than I can. But my gift is that I can improvise songs, whatever I want to sing about. And it sounds like me. If you want to be able to play like that, learn you. You know, don't learn the scales or the circle of fifths or sacred geometry and apply it to music. Learn how to play like you want to play. Find music that suits you. Don't overthink it, you know? It's like if you want to not overthink when you get on stage, you got to be relying upon guitar playing that isn't based on overthinking things. Unless you're really genius level. But anyway, I learned I like sixes, right? Because this world, it's like we can't get out of it, and it's pretty, sh pretty shitty conditions. Living conditions are awful. Various groups of people are responsible, just not one. Not a lot of compassion, love, and uh, beauty that doesn't come from God above. Well, that's to be expected if you read the Bible, you'll know. Family, beautiful family. Okay, anyway, I'm getting lost. Uh, the way I learned how to expose uh, myself through my music was by learning how to play like myself. Which always disappoints me, but doesn't seem to disappoint others as much as I wish it would. Because I would ban myself if I could. Like right now for not for having guitar out of tune, sorry. But that's the whole point of my purposing. I was like, nothing's perfect in life. Why do you want your music to be perfect, guys? For an illusion, all part of the illusion effect, you know, like, don't you ever get tired of the illusions? At least make your music real. But you gotta become real yourself first. Sixes going back to it sounds the same like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll get you caught up in that loop forever, right? I did nine, but still.